growing up with a compulsive obsession with disassembling everything he could get his hands on, such as clocks, toys, and even a neighbor's Porsche. Narciso Anasui eventually wound up in prison when he caught his girlfriend cheating on him, and he disassembled his girlfriend and the man she was with, so that they would never come together again. Anasui's stand, Diver Down, either manifested due to this obsessive-compulsive behaviour, or he was born with it, and that is what gave him such a big interest in disassembling things. Either way, Diver Down is both a terrifying and powerful weapon to have on the side of such a man. And today, in stand analysis number 19, we're going to be diving down deep into this interesting stand from part 6, Stone Ocean. Welcome back to my stand analysis series, where I delve deep into as much detail about the ins and outs of a stand as possible. My aim is to eventually do an analysis on every stand within the anime and manga series, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. I hope you will continue to follow me on this unique and educational journey. On my previous stand analysis video, the Tower of Grey stand analysis, I asked you all what stand you wanted me to focus on next. After tallying the varied votes, both Diver Down from Part 6 and Civil War from Part 7 tied. Afterwards, I had them battle it out on a community post on my YouTube channel, in which, at the time I tallied the votes, Diver Down had beaten Civil War by simply one vote. It was incredibly close. Thank you everyone who took part in this vote, as I'm always anxious to get around to analysing some of your favourite stands, either for entertainment or to help you to understand them a little more. I'll be doing another poll on which stand you want me to cover next at the end of this video, so stay tuned till the outro portion of this video to get all the details. What will you find if you dive deep below the surface of the ocean? Sharks? Jellyfish? Dio's coffin? Well, yes, but also you may find some abandoned, thrown away subscribe buttons. These buttons were left behind. Ignored. Thrown away. Don't let that happen to the little subscribe button on this channel. All subscribe buttons have feelings and must be taken care of as if it was a pet. So go ahead, click that subscribe button today to keep it warm, fed and loved. Do your part. Subscriberstrust.org.uk This section of the video was done in parody. This is not an actual website. I repeat, this is not an actual website. I'm also on Twitter and post regular updates regarding uploads amongst other posts over there. So feel free to follow me at BStarPlatinum. As always, if you haven't yet read part 6 Stone Ocean, please be careful as this video will have spoilers. Now with all that out of the way, let's begin the stand analysis. Diver Down manifests as an artificial humanoid stand, which resembles a scuba diver aesthetically. It looks as if it is wearing form-fitting scuba gear, equipped with a breathing apparatus on its mouth, which is connected via blue tubes, and they lead to what looks like bluey-grey oxygen tanks on its back. The stand also boasts big Ds all over its body. <coughs> These letter Ds represent its name, Diver Down, and are pink in colour. The stand appears to be wearing bluey grey gloves and its main body is coloured teal, which features yellow stripes across its limbs. The stand's appearance matches its ability of being able to dive inside objects and surfaces, however we'll get into that in a bit more detail shortly. Diver Down is named after the album of the same name, Diver Down, by classic metal band Van Halen. Anasui's stand Diver Down does not feature any necessarily obvious personality traits, and just like many other stands in the JoJo series, it follows its user's will precisely and loyally. Now we're onto the techniques portion of the video, where I explain and dive down deep into how they work. I need to stop making that pun. Diver Down showcases two different techniques across Stone Ocean. The first one is Power Storage, which is showcased after Anasui agrees to help protect Jolene. This technique allows Diver Down to store its strikes within a surface or object, and then Anasui can release the energy from those strikes whenever he wills it. Basically, if Diver Down punches or kicks a wall and Anasui wills for those attacks to be stored, the wall will hold that energy inside of it. When Anasui decides to release it, the same punches or kicks will then leave the wall and attack any nearby targets. It looks as if the stand itself is kicking or punching the target from within the wall, when in fact it is just stored attacks. These attacks take the form of the limb that initially touched the object, so if Diver Down punched a wall, the energy that is released from that impact would take the form of a punch. Multiple impacts can be stored within a surface or object at one time, and all of them can be released in bursts, or one by one, depending on how Anasui wishes them to be released. Since Diver Down is a close-range power-based stand, the target would have to be right up close to the surface or object for the stored power to actually connect. 
If the enemy knew of Diver Down's abilities, they would make sure that they keep their distance from the object to avoid being attacked by the released power. And Asui can also store his stand's speed inside the object as well. What this means is that the speed of Diver Down's punches or kicks can be stored along with the power. Once the attacks are released from the object, those punches or kicks release at the same speed that Diver Down had when he attacked the object. This technique was not shown after its initial showcase in the chapter titled His Name is Anasui. Some JoJo fans use the whole Araki Forgot phrase to describe the reasoning for this, however I believe it's more of a case of realism. Yeah, realism may be quite a weird term to use when describing JoJo's bizarre adventure, but just think about it. Anasui displayed this technique on three security guards, all of which are non-stand users. They would not expect to be kicked by an invisible manifestation of Anasui's mental energy, so of course they stormed the door at full speed, receiving the kick when close enough. However, the majority of enemies that the group came up against were stand users, many of them intelligent and informed by Pucci. Most, if not all of these stand users would not risk getting close to an object that they just saw a stand randomly punch or kick. Plus, Pucci has knowledge of various prisoners' stand abilities, most likely also knowing Anasui's stand ability, so he would have most likely already conveyed that information to his underlings. In my opinion, it's not so much an Araki forgot moment, but moreover, Araki was smart enough to realise that the enemy stand users would not easily fall victim to this technique. If the enemies constantly ran into stored power within objects or surfaces, they would look pretty pathetic. Therefore, this technique is not terribly viable when battling stand users, and more successful versus non-stand users. The second technique that Diver Down possesses is restructuring. This is the main technique or ability that Anasui's stand uses across the part. Like most stands, Diver Down can phase through walls and objects. This has been displayed by other stands such as Star Platinum in Part 3 when it left the jail cell to bring Jotaro various objects to keep him entertained. I know what you're thinking though, loads of stands can phase through objects and walls, so why is this so special for Diver Down? Well, Diver Down doesn't just casually phase through objects and surfaces like a ghost, it can also join with them. Diver Down temporarily becomes a part of the object that it phases through, meaning that any locomotion that transpires also affects Diver Down whilst it is inside the object. Say for example, it phases inside a human body. If that human body then moves forward, the stand will follow its exact movements according to the human's muscle and bone movements. This was shown when Weather Report loses one of his legs, and Anasui joins Diver Down up with Weather's body, allowing him to move freely using Diver Down's leg as if it was his own. This gave him enough strength to jump into the air to attack Poochie. However, the human will not be able to feel the stand inside it. Though, if they are a stand user like Weather Report, then they would be able to see that Diver Down is lending them a hand. Or a leg. And yes, I assume if a non-stand user loses a leg, and Diver Down replaces the leg with its own leg, then the human body would still be able to walk, with having an invisible leg, which is very strange. Basically, yes, it can phase like many other stands, but this ability to temporarily join with the object it phases through is a unique ability to Diver Down, making Anasui's stand completely different to other stands that can phase through objects. This limb replacement could be used for any limb, but it requires the brain waves to still be active within the human body it joins with for the limbs to work. Meaning if someone was beheaded and Diver Down tried to lend its head to the body, this would not magically bring the person's body back to life, as the human brain is not connected to the rest of the body. Diver Down's head is not a viable replacement for a human head, so using the phasing for this use is only really viable for replacing arms or legs. The main purpose of an Asui stand diving into an object or surface is that the stand can freely change their structure from the inside. This can be used for either creation or destruction. If it goes inside biological life, Diver Down can change the bone structure and muscles of that life and change their forms. This is most likely a painful procedure, so minimal changes should be made to save the pain of the person. This can be used to change how a person looks, either for preference or disguise. And yes, Anasui can use this ability on himself. However, as you can imagine, this ability could also be incredibly useful in negatively affecting the body of biological life as well. Having free roam to move, change and even completely remove vital organs could be fatal to anyone that gets on Anasui's bad side. If used on an object or surface, its layout can be altered also. For example, Anasui used Diver Down to completely alter a glass bottle by changing the location of the opening of the bottle. This stand has almost unlimited potential when it comes to altering materials, as it can put things together, take things apart, add things to them, remove aspects of it, or completely remould the object or surface into something new. 
The one stipulation is, it cannot add or remove materials which the stand cannot physically grasp. For example, minuscule elements that make up various metal objects. This means the object or surface Diver Down enters will remain the same material. Metal will stay metal and wood will stay wood. Diver Down can also be used in a defensive manner to protect other people. Once it has dived into another life form, the damage from any attacks that hit that life form will be transferred to Diver Down instead, and therefore Anasui will take the brunt of the damage. If the target got super close to the protected person, Diver Down would probably still be able to do damage to them whilst also still protecting its ally. It can also be used in another way to protect others, and that is to remove harmful things from within someone's body, such as when it removed the parasitic plants from Jolene's body. However, like I mentioned earlier, it cannot remove tiny, minuscule items inside a body, such as poison or dangerous cells like cancer. In the same vein, it can also be used in reverse and take foreign objects into a person's body, to damage someone or to warp the shape of the body, such as when Anasui put chocolates inside its own face to change its shape to confuse pursuers. There are some strengths that Diver Down has, some which relate to its techniques and some that don't. When inside a wall, it can protrude its limbs out from the wall, allowing Anasui to grapple the limbs and climb up. This strength helps grant Anasui strategic advantages, can help him be able to survey an area from high up, or can help him escape quickly from sticky situations, such as being cornered. Anasui can make Diver Down move quickly along the wall while it's inside of it, and if Anasui is currently holding onto a limb of his stand that is protruding out from the wall, he'll be dragged along with the stand at speed, helping him dodge attacks or run away. If an Asui is underneath a moving object or vehicle, such as a car, Diver Down can phase into the object and hold an Asui underneath it. Whilst keeping him close to the object in question by tightly holding him, Diver Down grants an Asui the ability to hide underneath the moving object or vehicle, which grants him the ability to very easily and stealthily follow a target to a specific location for recon or assassination. If an Asui is caught underneath the vehicle like he was in the Bohemian Rhapsody arc, Diver Down can hold him against the car and protect him from being hit by the wheels or the road. On top of being able to dive into physical beings and objects, Diver Down has yet another strength with its diving ability. Since Diver Down is a stand itself and nearly all stands can interact with one another, an Asui stand is able to actually phase inside another stand and it can mess with its inner workings, just like it can with biological life. This was displayed when Diver Down melded a frog's brain to the inside of Yo-Yo Ma's head. Being able to alter or destroy the inside of biological life or stands is an immensely strong ability. However, if an Asui's enemy has any sense, they won't let Diver Down get close enough. To be able to do this, an Asui has to get closer to the enemy as well, as Diver Down is a close-ranged power type stand. This is a risky move because if he takes one wrong step during this process, an enemy could easily kill him. Sometimes it might be better strategically to keep his distance and mess with objects and surfaces instead to battle his enemies. Of course, as we previously touched upon, this stand is also great for helping to disguise an Asui, and combining this ability with the previously mentioned strength of being able to follow a vehicle to a target location stealthily, this could be a great assassination and intelligence gathering stand. Probably its biggest weakness is that it has to be close to an enemy to do real damage, as well as its power storage technique only really being useful on non-stand users or enemies who don't know what its power is capable of. Either way, Diver Down is perfect for Anasui's personality and obsessive-compulsive need to take things apart in his young age. It's actually quite a terrifying stand to come face to face with, so it's a good thing he chose to help Jolene rather than go against her. I think it's time for my final thoughts on Diver Down. I liked Anasui as a character quite a bit, but his stand wasn't the most captivating for me. Don't get me wrong, I felt like his stand is one of the more interesting ones in Stone Ocean, but when comparing it to other stands across all of JoJo itself, I could name many more stands that I would rate higher than this one in my opinion. Of course, that doesn't diminish how awesome and badass Anasui could be, and just how powerful his stand really is. Anasui has the possibility of insta-killing a target if he chose to, and this was shown multiple times as he attempted to take out Poochie quickly. Unfortunately, Poochie was just too fast and too smart to fall for it. However, it was amazing to see Anasui really try so hard to impress and protect Jolene. How he went from a murderer who dismantled his own girlfriend in the past, to truly falling in love with Jolene and protecting her at the cost of his own life was heartwarming as well as great character development. Whilst he may have originally agreed to help the group only due to loving Jolene, I felt like he did grow a bond with the others, being there to protect them as well as the rest of the world in the endgame. 
If all he cared about was Jolene, he may have accepted Poochie's plan, go into Poochie's reset universe and live his life with Jolene as long as they both agreed not to fight Poochie. However, I truly think Anasui gained a sense of morality and respect for other people during the course of Stone Ocean, leading him to help protect the others in the group as well as the people around the world and attempted to help thwart Poochie's plan. Diver Down was a great stand to help him protect Jolene as well as fatally damage opponents. Although Diver Down may not look too frightening aesthetically, it's one stand that no one would want to make an enemy out of. That about does it for Diver Down. This was a stand analysis that won the poll on my Tower of Grey video, and like I said at the beginning of this video, we're now going to have the same poll again. So if you missed the poll on the Tower of Grey video, here's your chance to get your favourite stand analysed next. What stand do you want me to cover? Write me a comment underneath this video and after one week has passed from the date of this video's upload, I'll tally the votes and begin working on a video analysing the stand that received the most votes. However, there is only one stipulation to this poll. Please, no main villain stands. I want the main villain stands to be spread out a bit more across the series and I don't want to get them all done early on. Any other stand is fine, just please omit the main villain stands for now and I'll get to them eventually. Of course though, if you do vote for them, I will still take those votes on board for future videos. After one week has passed, I'll announce the winner of the poll on a community post. In the event that multiple stands tie again, I'll create a community post asking you to choose which one should win. Now then, what did you think of Diver Down? Do you think I missed anything in the stand analysis? After all, I'm not perfect, so please let me know in the comments if I forgot anything. If you've enjoyed this video, then please consider subscribing to the channel for future JoJo content. Also, please hit the like button on this video if you want to see more stand analysis videos and manga reviews. To get notified when I release the next video, hit that bell and you'll be notified when I release another one. I appreciate you taking the time watching this video and I really do appreciate all the support in the last well over a year now that I've been releasing videos on this channel. But until next time, Bizarre Star Platinum, out!